Ann Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor, and this is Ward 5 and 10, a little extended. Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses. Imagine that, the sun is out. It's Tuesday, May 7th, 2019, and it's 70 degrees in Brockton and sunny, and you know what? We like it. Okay, I have company, as you can see, but we have a whole lot going on in this city, in this ward, actually everywhere. So, here's the deal. We're glad everybody came back safe from their school vacation. They have a whole lot more to learn, so they got to buckle down. Meanwhile, it's Little League time, soccer time, kids roast race time, and plenty of other things going on in this city. Again, I'm Ann Borgard, the Ward 5 City Councilor. I can be reached at A Borgard, B-E-A-U-R-E-G-A-R-D, at C-O-B-M-A dot U-S, or 774-297-4939. Okay, everyone's talking about the hydrant flushing. Yes, it's happening. It happens generally every spring, and you might just see a little activity and a little the different discoloration of water, but everything is okay unless otherwise announced. And you would get a robocall, and you'd also see announcements on the city's website and in the local paper, and probably <laughs> on BCA. All right. So I just want to remind people that we're still talking about infrastructure, and they can call their state senator, Michael Brady, at 617-722-1200 to thank him for supporting the infrastructure bill that will work, hopefully, to have more funding, to have our streets paid, because, man, they need it done. Don't think for one minute we forget about this, because we don't, okay? And like I said, there's a whole lot going on. It's <laughs> Tuesday, May 7th. And we're getting ready for the Broughton High musical, the award-winning drama club, along with the award-winning band, along with the award-winning students of our school. So why don't I just introduce Judy Sullivan, as far as we're concerned, our award-winning school committee representative, Ward 5, to talk about a whole lot that's going to be going on this summer and all around with our community school. So Judy, take it away. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to thank you, Anne, for having me on your show. You're welcome. Like we thank love you. <laughs> thank you very much. I love you, too. <laughs> I would like to thank BCA. And I just want to talk a little bit about um, some summer programs going on for parents because that's going to be coming up um, where parents will be looking for the children, things to do for the children. Okay. As Anne has told you, we have some really awesome programs in the city. And we have our Br Brockton Community Schools, which runs all these programs. We have a new director this year. We have Mag Mago Mason in our community. Welcome, Mago. Laurie retired. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Mago is um, the director for our community schools, and it is located in the Brockton Public Schools Central Administration Building. And you can register for any of these programs online at brocktoncommunityschools.com. You can also go in person to the central office on Crescent, 43 Crescent Street, uh, and you can register in person. Yeah, if, that's that's open. What like two? What is it? Ten to two or something like that? Eight thirty to four thirty. I stand corrected. And for at forty three Crescent Street, you can you know if you're looking for parking, and I always go on the parking information parent information center that's diagonally across the street. It's that <coughs> building that used to be a bank, and on the other side is the Board of Health, and you could run across the street. If you're looking for parking, because it is somewhat limited downtown in that area, 43 Crescent Street, that used to be a post office a long time ago. They can they let you in, buzz you along here, and people can help you. They're awful nice in there. I know I'm in there regularly for other um, situations with the Broughton High School alumni, which she has an office right next door. So, and the Brockton High School alumni is part of the community schools. Yes, so. yes, and we have um, you know, uh, our awards. Um, evening reception on Thursday, May 30th, and we're pretty excited about the recipients, and we're also pretty excited about the scholarships we're giving out. Pretty amazing people, so that's all a surprise, so I'll look forward to reading about that real soon. So I'm going to ask you to name some of the fun classes that people can find out about or the activities. Okay, so I am going to talk about some of the activities that are going on. Um, in this, for the summer, the programs are located either at Brockton High School or the Baker School, and the extended day is located at the Unknown. 
Okay, so the first program is preschool and elementary summer programs, which are located at the Baker Elementary School. We have pre-K and K fun camp, kitty fun camp, cooperative sports and games, cooperative sports and games for ages five to six and ages three to four. Okay, those are separated into the age groups. Sure. Okay, each, also I just wanted to say, Ann, that each child was given this brochure in the schools. These were delivered to every school in Brockton. So you, your child should have brought this brochure home. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Everybody so, look at the backpacks. <laughs> yeah, you got to look in the backpacks. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Well. You got to ask your child about it. If it was not given out at their school, please call the principal and ask them to hand them out to the students. It's really important and there's a lot of great programs. The next program is the Reader's Theater. It has, it's a summer program with skits and reading adventures. It is located at the Baker Elementary School. <clears throat> also, yeah. free breakfast is served from 8 to 8.30 at the Baker, nice. and free lunch is 11.30 to 12. So there's food included in oh, all these good. programs. Oh, that's good. So the kids don't have to cook. That's great. No. Yep. <laughs> I said the... <laughs> And no, I, I just wanted to good. say a little bit about the food because the, the Brockton Public Schools food service company is the Chatwells Food Services. And that also serves up summer programs, right, Margo? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, the programs are federally funded and they have to follow the nutrition guidelines for children, which you're not going to see much junk if you go to the schools. Y you know, you won't see cookies, you won't see ice cream. That's what the kids want to eat, okay? You won't see um, a lot of, you know, the stuff that they're asking for, chicken nuggets and mac and cheese and stuff like that. Oh, sure. That, it, okay? we're, we're zoning in on vegetables, fruit, uh, nutritious yep. things. So there, okay, that's be understandable. What, sure. There should be one fruit served, one vegetable served, a whole grain, and milk. Okay. Yep. All right. So if you're not seeing that, okay, some children might not take all that. Because ah. they they're going through the line, it's cafeteria style. So they may not take that. So you should be asking your children that, you know oh, exactly. Oh, checking it out. Uh huh. Yep. Because okay. I did They're notice that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I noticed that on the trays over at the Pluff that some of them had <laughs> all four of the things, but some of them only took the the piece of pizza. Uh huh. And you might say pizza, but it's made with whole grains. Okay, plus, very good. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sure. No, okay. That's right. You know, protein and yeah. Sure. Yep. Oh, the look next at this. program yeah. is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Math Summer Camp. It is held at the Baker Elementary School. It is for grades two to five. Oh, that's so wonderful. Really that's zero down, in right. on the cost of it, the ages, because each one, okay, also gets free breakfast and free lunch. The sessions are also listed. The next program is Act One, Scene One, which everybody is a very popular program. Everybody knows about that, where young actors and actresses have the opportunity to take the stage in a highly energetic summer production. So there's an actual production at oh, the end yes. of it. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yep. And I, they get a great turnout. And that's, yep. that's all really good, too. And all everything right. is held at Brockton High School in the Fine Arts Building. They great. also get free lunch. Okay. This starts a little later, huh? No? You got, yeah, you got to pay attention to all the... The times Because there's a schedule sure. on each page. Okay. Because this is also available on their website, right? The Brockton yes. website? Yes. BPSNA. Nope. No? Brockton Community Schools. Oh, Schools. Brockton Com. Community Schools has their own one. Excuse yep. me. www.brockingcommunity.com. And you can Schools. register right there. The programs will come Great. right up. Great. Okay, yep. so they're going to be downloaded. So that could be really advantageous. Somebody can do that during lunch, get their kids signed up. Yep. Because I'm hearing all kinds of announcements about what do you want to do with your kids this summer? And what's the ex exact last day of school right now? Do we know? We do the know the 19th. last. The 19th. We're getting well, out early June this year. 19th. They only had one snow day, I think. One snow day. Wow. Okay, yep. the 19th. June so that's 19th. Act 1, okay. Scene 1. That's for children in grades 5 to 12. Oh, that's terrific. So that's okay. a real good mix of things. Yeah. Yep. Next we have oh, the Get Ready Brockton Communities oh, Program, which is like a bunch too. of sports. Cheerleading, yes. basketball, volleyball, gymnastics, Tennis. Flag, football, yeah. Look at a soccer, soccer oh, golf. The, the sessions are right here. Okay. Um, it's held at the Spectrum Gymnastics. Only gym, oh, only gymnastics. Only is gymnastics is held there. Okay. Okay, and all the other stuff said that the different schools. I mean, there's a whole lot. This to is at Brockton here. High. The yep, rest of the program. This programs. is a whole lot to realize here. Yep. Because you got the boxer camp too. What, what are we getting people ready to go out in the field here? Yeah, this is junior boxer camp. This is if you need a longer day. Oh. Say okay. the parents are not out of work yet, and the oh. other programs are ending. This program runs from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. daily. How great is that? 
So but yeah, there is people no people working in Boston or whatever it takes them a while yep. to get home. Sure, there okay. isn't transportation for this, right, Michael? Correct. Yeah. Right. There's no transportation, so parents have to pick up at the high school. Okay. Okay. All right, but look at this. I mean, can you believe all the stuff that's going on here? Yep. So this is why it's important to know this on May 7th, because when your kids get out on June 19th, and then you turn around June 20th, it's like, what? No. <laughs> yes. And Wait. you want to sign up early because a lot of parents are already doing that. And, that's got and once they get full, up. sure. Once yeah, they absolutely. get full, don't wait till the last minute. Oh yeah. Okay. Because good stuff goes fast. Yep. Yep. Next, we have the mini day fun camp, which is held at Brockton High. It is for grades two to six. Oh, okay. okay all the grades this. are listed here. The sessions are listed on each page for each program. Wonderful. Okay, so you really have to know that. You really have to have this. It will also say if you go online, it will say all this. Okay. The we'll Youth Aquatics is held at Brockton High School because that's where we have the pool. Yeah. And it's held in the indoor pool. Oh, that's great. So it doesn't matter if it rains or anything. Yep. Terrific. And the that's children wonderful. are taught to yeah. swim, which is very important. The yes. kids know how to swim. Absolutely. Yep. Yes. Oh, and it's great exercise, too. So that's yep. wonderful. And that is for grades 1 to 8 for the Youth Aquatics. Wow. That, that, that takes up a whole okay. lot. Yep. Yep. Look at this. This is pages and pages long. Well, yeah. Right there. And oh, then okay. we're getting to the end. We have the annual, the 21st annual Raise Up Basketball Camp. Okay. This oh, is yeah. a really, really popular program. Right, Michael? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is held at Brockton High School. Okay. This is for students entering grades 4 to 12. So. Okay. Five hours of daily instruction. 10 to 1 player coach ratio. Five on five games. Swimming with certified lifeguards. Camp t-shirt. Playoffs and championship, awards and trophies at each age division. Okay. Wow, this healthy is pretty lunch, amazing stuff. Healthy lunch provided. There we go again. <laughs> and then we have all this whole bus This is just for the programs at Brockton High. Sure, but get, remember, this is all available to you. You, you want to think about, you know, either you go to the principal's office. That's how we sound so funny. Go to the principal's office, get one of these handouts. If you haven't seen it in somebody's backpack, Right. Okay, www.broughtoncommunityschools.com. Yep. And there's a whole lot of other stuff that we, we haven't even mentioned that is going to be going on all summer long. And this is, this is Broughton Community Schools. The award-winning Broughton Community Schools has been around for over 40 years, I know, because I participated in it over 40 years ago. Yep. So this is really good. I'm very glad that Judy's here. Judy has a phone number, 508. 588-9171. And an email. It, my email is jsullivan, scwood5, at gmail.com. See, because we're, we're accessible, honestly. I won't lie to you. There's 24 hours in a day, and we could use 48 of them because we're, it's a busy, busy time. We're looking at budgets. Unfortunately, money is not falling from the sky, so it's tight. It's tough. Judy's going to have more information for us. She's going to come back. Yep. You know, after we look at the budget, time. you know, during the summer, she's got a whole lot of positive stuff going on. And anyone is invited to any of these meetings. Anyone can come to the school committee at uh, com um, the community, the, the little theater at Broughton High Fine Arts at 7 o'clock. Uh, First Tuesdays. and third Tuesday yeah. of the month. Okay. You can speak. You can ask questions. And this is, you know, you don't have to have some kind of formal session here. People are out there available to give you information. And, you know, how would I say it? There's so much out there. There's so much information for us to absorb. There's constant changes. And we're always trying to do the best for our students. I'm really excited that Judy came here today. And again, Judy's going to be on the circuit with different, you know, situations going on. We had a Ward 5 meeting a couple of weeks ago already. Can't believe it. Mm. And now we're going to talk about some other meetings. But I want to remind people that uh, the Broughton High Musical, you want Newsies, $12 a person, mm. um, just amazing, you know, to, and this whole, you know, Disney story and, and whatever. And it's Friday night, 7.30, um, the 10th, the 11th, it's 7.30 at night, Saturday, so it's Friday and Saturday, and Sunday, it's at 6 p.m., yep. okay? This is, nobody's making any money on this. People are doing this, you're paying for the, um, what do I want to say, the, the sets, the costumes, everything else, just amazing. Everybody gets together on this. It's just super. There's so many great things that go on in the Broughton school system. And uh, we have all these scholarship recipients. We have everybody walking down the aisle in their gowns on June Saturday. 8th. 
Saturday, June 8th, they're graduating. Okay, no, June 1st, I think it is. June 1st. Come on, everybody. June 1st. Okay, brought to It's the first Saturday in June. June. Okay, is that June so it's 1st? Saturday, I just don't have a June 1st is the scheduled day for Broughton High to go down the aisle here. And just just amazing day. But we you know, warn you because there's an awful lot of traffic on that day on Belmont Street. Yes. As, th you know, almost 1,000 people graduate, so over 900 kids. And yep. the school, again, all just doing some great stuff here. I want to go back here and remind people of a couple of things, too, that have to do with Broughton. Um, and, and Ward 5 and the whole community. Um, again, I'm Ann Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor, 774-297-4939. A Beauregard at clbma.us. Okay, here's the deal. We have uh, two parades in May. We have one that's over 100 years old, the Huntington School Parade. It still happens. We still line up at 12-ish on that Friday, May 24th. Uh, they don't have a rain date yet because, fingers crossed, it's not going to. But, you know, this is history. Over 100 years, these kids and their grandparents and their parents and, and whatever have marched in this. This is cool. Okay, check it out. It's all free. We also have the parade, Memorial Day, and that's um, about 10 a.m. Yep. And uh, we're, we go down Main Street. We're going to end up at City Hall Plaza. This is to remember those we've lost. And again, all free Memorial Day Parade. Okay, Ward 4, um, people, we have different ward meetings, okay? But anybody can go to any ward, okay? It's just we focus on certain things and we address everything else. May 22nd, location to be announced, 6.30 p.m., Councilor Susan Castro. Okay, at large meeting, again, 6.30 p.m. They're going to have guest speakers. They also want to hear your concerns. 6.30 p.m., Sullivan Towers. Again, anyone is invited to attend. And I want to remind people that the library, okay, this is my bias here, the library, has tons of programs for the kids. Sign them up. Again, all free. There's all kinds of museum passes. There's plenty of things for your kids to do this summer so they can have a fast summer. Hey, it goes by so fast. They need, deserve to have as much fun as they can and, you know, to bring all kinds of things going on. We also want to remind people that Saturday, May 15th, at the Broughton Main Library from 10 to 3, you are invited to share your memories about Broughton, whether you live here, you lived here, you, um, I just moved here, you have a business here, you go to school here, you can be young, old, and in between, bring a picture, certificate, something significant, and they, this is going to be in the history of the archives for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It's a pretty exciting thing. It's only going to happen once, so please join us. Thanks again for being at Ward 5 in 10 Extended, and I always wanted to thank Broughton Community Access team and, of course, Professor Tebow that just does so much for me. Aaron Tebow is a saint. He's so patient with me. And want to thank him again for all he does. And just remind people, too, you can be part of volunteering at BCA and learning more about this. There's all kinds of, you know, opportunities. And, um, you know, please, if you'd like to be a guest, love to have you. Thanks again.